Hello and welcome to the Sharon Binford Show where we talk about all things fabulous. Today I would like to talk to you about a new product that I do like and a new product that I don't necessarily love so much. The two products are the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector Titanium Dioxide Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Medium Sheer Tint. So this BB cream is kind of new. Apparently it's been out in Europe for a while and now it's kind of made its way to the US and it's supposed to blur imperfections, enhance, brighten, adjust to skin tone, smooths, hydrates, is SPF 30, and it has 0% oils and or heavy other ingredients. I was so excited to go out and get this product. Like, I was like, oh, this is going to be so great. Like, and I'm like, dude, like, if they've been doing it in Europe for a while, like, let me get on that. I need to be on that boat. However, it ended up being more like the Titanic. You thought you wanted to be on the boat, but you actually, you really didn't want to be on that. It's just way too heavy for my skin. Like right now, I'm sure you can notice here and there, whole, I've tried my best to conceal that. I have like these pimples and I think it's the BB cream's fault because it's just, it's too heavy. Like my skin just can't handle it. Maybe like in the dead of winter when it's like really, really dry out, maybe my skin can handle it. But even then it's like, it's, I don't think that I'm going to but I was so excited to go out and get it like I have this rule where I can only get a new beauty product when um, the recyclables need to be taken back. because usually beauty products are like ten dollars because I only buy things like at the drugstore really when the recyclables need to be taken out that basically means that you get five free dollars so it like makes it half price for me just because I am a thrifty aka cheap person so okay so Let's put this aside. Not a huge fan. Alright, sorry Maybelline, I didn't, didn't like that. You do great mascaras though. I, it like hurts my body to pay full price for anything. And I'm talking about anything. So, uh, which is why I only get new beauty products when the recyclables need to be taken back. Um, but this is the Bella Color Minerali for... Or, or, I don't, I don't know. Anyways, it's inspired by Milan, Italy. Luxurious Mineral Cosmetics and Brush Collection. This is a whole kit, okay? So that's kind of This fun. side tells you how to use each of the products. I'll take them all out and show you them. The real reason why I got this was because I needed to replace, you know, the coverage that I thought that I was getting from this. This is the... Mineral Face Powder Illuminate 01. The only thing I don't like about any of these is that um, if you get the expensive okay. you know, minerals, then they are so nice, especially for traveling because oops, whoopsies, um, you can like lock the little holes shut. So like when you're traveling and your makeup's gonna be jostled around, like no more comes out into the lid section. Um, this doesn't have that feature, which is you know. A little sad, but whatever. Um, it'll be just fine. This is the bronzer that came with it. It is the Mineral Bronzer Golden Dust O1. This is actually really fair for a bronzer, I would say. Um, so I really like the bronzer that I'm using currently, which is a Bare Minerals. I'm gonna save this one for the winter when I'm. Uh, I get so pale. I get like see-through in the winter. So let's move on to the eyeshadows because I'm like really happy about these eyeshadows. And maybe it was three years ago. I was like just, I don't know, I was looking at my friend Annette's eyes and we were in the car. And you know how in the car you get that really great natural light and everyone just looks so much better in the car. And it's actually a great place to do your makeup. I was looking at her and she wasn't looking at me so I was getting like this great side view of like her eyes and they were like, golden and like I was they were just beautiful and I asked her like you know what is that and she told me and so I went out and got that but that one's like totally gone so I've just kind of been filling in the colors as I need to and it's basically just gold and brown and she has really bright gorgeous blue eyes and I have blue eyes but they're not quite as bright as hers 
But so that's all I use now on my eyes. Like I use a you know a highlight for right beneath my brow. But other than that, I use gold and brown on my eyes to try to bring out that blue color. So that's exactly what these colors are, and I was so excited. So um, they have what they call sandstone, which is the gold, and then they have what they call um, coral sunset, which is still um, I would say more like a tan brown gold as opposed to like um, a coral. I don't, I don't think it's that corally. I think it's more brown than coral. Um, and then we have the golden moss. Um, when you think moss, you think green. Um, so it's a little bit green, but it's more, I would say, a darker brown gold with like just a hint of green, which I don't mind. I think like when I wear green, I feel like my blue eyes are bluer anyway. So I think that will just be beautiful. And then I was so pleasantly surprised they have all these little lip colors as well. I have this one, and it is the Bella Rosa. It's a lip gloss, but it's also moisturizing as well. It's kind of the most nude, but it's still like kind of a sweetheart pink color. Then they have this Bella Baca. Maybe I'm saying that wrong. A vibrant burgundy really pretty except it's um because it's darker the the glitter that's in it shows and I'm not a huge fan of her lip gloss I think it's a little gimmicky like a small child would wear glitter lip gloss and think that they're wonderful princess and I know I'm not a princess so I want my lips to just be beautiful and whatever color I want them to be but it's okay it's not obtrusive this glitter that's in this lip, these lip glosses. I don't mind it. And this one's kind of like your bright summer, hello, I'm here and I'm coral, you know, uh, color. And all of them are actually really pretty. They're a little sheer, so they're not going to give you like that stain type of color that's going to last forever. You would need to like reapply them. Um, but you can't really reapply them during the day. Like I wouldn't carry any of these in my bag because I don't carry a lip brush in my bag at all. Hello. But they did supply one. The eyeliner is mineral eyeliner or espresso stone. And I had actually never heard of mineral eyeliner before, but I really, really like it. I still really love my liquid eyeliner. Like that's what I'm going to use when I want black, which is almost every day because I don't have blonde hair. Uh, but this is like a espresso stone is exactly what it, the color sounds like it's dark dark and I really like it and um, usually like pencils seem to like pull on your eyelid but this because it's mineral it just like it just glides across your eye and then the colors there and it's fabulous okay a boss is now like staring at the camera because he's like why does she talk to that thing? Oh my god, that was hilarious. If he does it again, I'll catch it with my iPhone and include it in the video. But now he's just laying down. Okay, anyway, sorry. And then they gave me some brushes. I don't really like them, so I'm not going to talk about them. And look, this one already broke, so... Their brushes are trash. But, um, as you can see in the top left corner of this little lovely little thing. It says $179 value, not including the brushes. The brushes were gross, but anyway, so some department store was selling it for $59.95. However, the marvelous shopper that I am, I went to TJ Maxx and found this and they were selling it for a whopping $16.99. Look at that. Look at it and wait. Yeah, okay, so, but it looks like there's two TJ Maxx tags on here, so I want to see what the other tag says, because I want to see if I got it even more discounted than normal. Yes, I did. The other tag says $25.99. I basically just stole all this makeup from TJ Maxx. That's basically what happened. I stole it from them. Actually, they had two of them, and one of them was like missing half the stuff inside, and I was about to buy it anyway. And then I found this one that hadn't been opened at all, and this TJ Maxx and like Marshalls are the only place where you're gonna find. I'm very happy with this, and I used it all today on this look that's going on with her. Plus that illegal, um, that illegal length mascara from Maybelline. 
it's also what's going on right now. So thank you for watching the Sharon Vinford show. I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope that you go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls or somewhere like that and get yourself some cheap ass beautiful makeup and you'll fabulous about it just like I did. See you later. Bye. I love it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got the deal of a lifetime. I got the deal. I got the deal. Hello, I got the deal. Boss didn't do it again, so I didn't take the picture. Good night. That tonight's gonna be.